Hello and welcome to Teaching Without Technologies, your one-stop resource for finding lesson plans and activities that require absolutely no technology whatsoever. I am in South Korea right now. It is May 26th. The bugs are flying all over the place and it's Buddha's birthday, so I'm off for the day. I am an English teacher. I've been teaching English for about three years now. I started in New York and New Jersey and moved down the coast to Mexico before coming to Korea. So I have some experience. I've been fortunate enough to read many books about activities you can use and lesson plans. And I hopefully will be able to impart a lot of this knowledge that I've synthesized and condensed in this course for you. My goal is to get you to be able to know enough information that you will be able to teach anywhere in the world uh, with any level of English proficiency. The classes that I are, am giving in this course are primarily for English teachers, but that is not to say that these activities can't be applied to math or science or history. Many of these activities will be valid for those as well. So don't feel like you're being left out if I bring up English occasionally in different videos. Many of these activities will work for you as well. So my goal, uh, again, is to get you to be as technology-free as you possibly can because there are many, many schools, academies, universities that are still to this day operating without technology or they have technology that's sort of haphazard. So you might enter a classroom that has no PowerPoints or no computer whatsoever. You might be in a shack somewhere in Africa or you might be in one of the most technologically advanced countries but yet software breaks down, computers get viruses, and so the question becomes what will you do in a situation like that? So all of these lessons that I have in this course primarily address that. So that in the event of some sort of unforeseen disaster of some sort, whether you're missing software, you're missing your USB, there's a blackout, or your school doesn't provide the programs that you want or that you need, you'll be able to just walk into a classroom and give a really good lesson technology-free. No cell phone, nothing. And ironically enough, it's taking technology for me to disperse this information for people, but once people have this information, they will be liberated, I hope, to teach anywhere in the world because the world, although it's becoming more and more technologically advanced, is still behind in some areas. And you will be able to take what you know in your head from these videos and from the knowledge you gain from this class to give really effective information, really effectively provided information to other people around the world who will be wanting your skills and your services to impart upon them skills and information that they need to progress in their own lives. So this this class will give you those skills, I'm hoping, and it will be able to give you the ability to go anywhere you want in the world. And the world is a, a very beautiful place. Uh, there are lots of wonderful people. And if you ever have the chance to travel... I think it is probably one of the best gifts uh, anyone could ever have in this life. So I am happy to have you on this journey with me, dear traveler. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments and email me. And I will be more than happy to respond at my earliest convenience and help you sort things out. So anyway, I am really honored to have you in this class with me. And to have you consider my words, and I think we're going to have a good time together. So thank you so much, and stay tuned for the next episode of Teaching Without Technologies. Bye-bye.